Hello everyone. This is Lloyd Kim. I'd like to start a sign up via social like Facebook and Google and email. This is Firebase console and iOS simulator and Android simulator. I made it one code for both platform. So I will start with iOS simulator. Sign up with an email. If you type email and password and touch the sign sign up with email, it will add to Firebase console and sign up with Fire uh, Facebook. Click Facebook button. I already just log in, so continue and sign up with Google. And refresh Firebase console. Here, here are added to uh, email and delete to both account. And I will start with Android Simulator to sign up with email. Type user information and refresh Firebase console. You can see the email was added in console and sign up with Facebook and touch continue the account added in Firebase console and last one I sign up with Google in Android I already logged in, so just touch my account and then check the Firebase console. But before doing, watch this video first to make a Fluto environment. And let's start. Left one is a pop the development site and right one Flutter project. First of all, fi find Firebase author library in pub development site. Type Firebase author and click first one. Then click install. You have to add this line in pubspec.yaml. So add this line in the file and then click package get go to the dart file and import uh, this line in here and I made this user interface so to get a text string from the text field I init this digital object And this code to make this, this text field to get user email or password. And this code for sign up with email button. So if you click it to sign up with email method. The method will locate in here. Oh, it's easy. Get the text from the text text field and create the user with email and password. Show success dialog if success. Otherwise, show the error message using dialog. Go to the Firebase console and then enable with email then the setting sign of Facebook go to the pop development and type Facebook login click first link it's the same uh, capital line to popspec.yaml file
땡 클립 패키지 겟 import firebase package in darkpy and then I made a sign up with Facebook button using this code if, if press the do sign up with Facebook method I made it the button First, open Facebook login page and get result. Now use the parameter as your email. Then make a credential using result token. After make a credential using Firebase auth method with credential. Right here. To use Firebase login kit, you have to do setting. So, right side is a Facebook development page, and left one is Firebase console. Open Firebase Developer Site and create the app. And type the display name and create the app ID. Check I'm not robot and some. Okay, I made the Firebase app. Then go to setting and click basic. Here is app ID and app script. Just copy and paste in the uh, Firebase console in authentication. Then go to the product and Firebase login setup. Before do it, click the setting. And here is the link. Copy paste this line and save change and go to the quick start and I will set the Android first so click Android icon and next so paste this one and you have to copy and paste the package name so go to the Fluto project Android and app SRC main and Android manifest. You can see package string right here, so copy this line and paste right here. And paste this line as well and dot main activity and save. Uh, I didn't upload this app on Google Play, so just continue. Uh, we need key to so I'm using on the Mac OS, so copy this code, open the terminal, command and enter, then type terminal, and paste, enter. The first password is nothing, so just enter. So here is line, copy this line, and paste to key hash, and save. So say yes, enable single sign-on, save, and next. And we have to add this Facebook ID or some permission in the Android project. So go to the Android app, SRC, main, RES, and value. If you don't have string.xml, you have to create first and add this line. And you have to add app on the bar name because when debugging the android need the app name so create something like that and copy and paste this value in there and go to the android menu first and 
copy this permission in application and copy this code as well and paste it in the Android manifest.xml in your Flutter project. Next, and this code for I'm not sure Java or Kotlin just pass it because we are using the Flutter language. So setting Android is done. So next, go to the quick start and click iOS uh, icon. And click next. We have to set the bundle ID. So we have to open iOS project using Xcore. So go to the Flutter project, iOS, and learner.xc workspace. there and copy the bundle identifier and paste it right here and save continue absolutely say yes on this option uh, it's similar like android go to the in info that please right to my mouse click and open edge and source code and copy this code to right here If you didn't eat, you could get the token from the Firebase develop developer. So next this step because this language is object C. And one more thing, you have to change the field file that wrap. Open terminal and cd this iOS folder and type vim spacebar pod file dot rock and you have to change it uh, fb sdk version so type i to insert then change version maybe 5.10 something like that change it to old version because the new version is not working on Fluto project after change it type etc and colon wq enter and change iOS version you, the default cup was 8 but you have to change 9 otherwise it didn't work so finally finish setting firebase sign up last one setting sign up google go to the pop development type google sign in Click first link, then add the line in project and pop spec that yaml, and click package get, and import the Google sign in in the dot project file. So I made sign up with Google button right here. If a press button doing Google sign up method, so it's similar like Facebook login. First, sign up Google and get the Google user result and Google authority. So make a credential and sign up sign up with credential using firebase auth to use google sign up enable google in firebase console but to use it in android environment you have to do set sha1 fragment no fingerprint So go to the project setting and Android. I already added the SHA1, but this is the first time for you. Click the link and copy this line because I'm using Mac OS. And open the terminal, paste, and just enter because the password is none. 
So you can see SHA1 line right here. Copy this line. Back to the uh, Firebase console, add the fingerprint and paste the line and save it. The Google service.js file was changed because you add the fingerprint, so you have to change it to a new one. So download this file and go to the Fruit Project and under the Android folder and app. Remove all the Google service.json file. And add a new Google service.json file. I already changed it, so I did it. For iOS, open the iOS project and Google service info.plist. Copy reverse client ID value and go to the info and URL type and click plus button and add URL scheme right here finally that's everything <laughs> so many things right thanks for watching this video uh, I really appreciate if you subscribe and like this video thank you bye bye